What's up guys, Jim here. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to remove your Ford B-Max clutch unit and how to properly set it up. Let's get started. First, grab a flat edge screwdriver and remove the circlip from the centre of the clutch unit. Once the circlip has been removed, simply pull out the centre cog. Underneath you'll find a separate circlip, for this one we will need to use circlip pliers. Now here's a quick video of what we've done so far. If you'd like to see the video slower, without instructions, see my other video posted. Now I use two old engine mounts to attach to the clutch unit and a lever bar to pull it out. You can however use a big puller if you have one, or just try to do it with pry bars. I have found however this is the easiest way for me to do it. With the old clutch unit out, we now need to remove the actuator motors with an E8 Torx part, undo the four bolts, and then pull the motors out. There's one on each side of the gearbox. Now pull out the clutch pressure centre rings and just pay attention to what order they are listed in. Now using an E10 Torx part we will start to remove the first four bolts of the clutch actuator arms. Now use a T45 Torx part to remove the remaining four bolts. Once the bolts are all removed, carefully remove the actuator arms, keeping them in the order that you've removed them in. Now they're out of the way, we will need to replace the gearbox seals. We need to do this first by removing the gearbox sleeve with a T30 Torx bit and undoing the three bolts holding it in.
To remove the sills, you will need a hammer, two different sizes of flathead screwdriver, and a hooked pick. If you're replacing the inner seal, you will need the thin, flat-headed screwdriver, and your hammer, pierce a small hole through the seal, and then use your hooked pick to pull the seal out from the shaft. With the lower seal, you can try to just pull it out with the hooked pick, however, I have found it easier to remove using a flat-headed screwdriver. I will be using the Ford seal kits to replace the seals to put the new seals back in where I took them out. However, you do not have to use these. You can, if you're careful, just use a punch, a flat headed punch and a hammer and gently tap them into place, making sure that the center of the seal is bent downwards and does not turn inside out. Once the seals are fitted, replace the sleeve and put your bolts back in and torque them up to 8 newton meters. Now put the actuator arms back in finger tight to make sure that these two marks line up on all of them and make sure you put the motors back in before tightening any of these bolts down. Torque the T45 bolts to 19 newton meters and the E10 bolts to 26 newton meters. Use the supplied special grease to grease up the bearings in the middle of the shaft. Remove both the clutch actuator motors again and fit the new clutch plates. Make sure that these plates stay like this and you don't knock them when fitting the new clutch unit, otherwise the new clutch unit 
will not operate properly. Now we're going to carefully fit the new clutch unit back into the box. Now the new clutch unit is in the box we need to grab a deep 32mm socket and a hammer and tap the clutch unit down until we can fit the first clip. Depending on how fat the wall is on your socket you may need to use a punch to tap the clutch unit down the remainder of the way as the clip sits inside a ridge. Once the clip is fitted correctly you can then put the sensor cog back in making sure the line lines up then fit the new outer clip. Now using a suitable spline tool, a long quarter drive extension and a quarter drive ratchet we need to wind back the clutch actuator arms 14 times anti-clockwise. While we are doing this you will hear a loud cracking noise coming from inside the clutch unit, do not worry this is normal, just carry on. Do this for both sides but do not do it any more or any less than 14 turns. Once you've done that, put the motors back in and torque the bolts to 8 Nm. That's it guys, simple once you know how isn't it? Remember to subscribe for more videos and hit that like button. Until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.